Hello folks. Um, so, <laughs> it's been a couple of weeks. Um, the last time I uh, went fishing, like I said, it was a couple of weeks ago, down on the Severn, and the following week, absolutely hammering it down all week, and the rivers rose a couple of metres. Um, a lad that watches my channel, Richard, uh, sort of mentioned, why don't you go further afield from where you were <clears throat> and try this other venue? Uh, it's part of the Severn, part of the BAA water. Um, so I thought, yeah, I've never visited it, never fished it, never walked it, so... With the rivers and flood, I thought I'll use that time as a recce uh, and just go and check it out really. And that's what I did, came down, did a bit of bailiffing, met a couple of fantastic lads further down the field, barbel, uh, barbel fishing, and that was it, quits. Following week, it all fell through, couldn't go fishing, and it would have been spot on because the river would have been coming down. So as we know, obviously when the river's in flood, fish don't feed as much, or predator fish don't feed as much. Um, so when the river comes, fishable again, Obviously, a lot more visible there. They can catch more, they'll be on it. Um, couldn't get down, so here I am today. Um, so last night I was talking to the Boston angling lads. Um, so, <laughs> turns out they were here yesterday um, and they caught fish, which is awesome. Um, but they also mentioned uh, there's some lure anglers, though down dead baiting in court, uh, but they did mention there's some lure anglers down as well. Uh, they caught as well, so the issue now <laughs> is am I fishing water that's been thrashed to death? Uh, or, um, yeah, I just don't know. I don't know. It could be second-hand water, as people say, but we'll see. And then, to top it off, <laughs> I thought I'd have a cheeky lie in. 15 minutes, 15 minutes, yeah, like an hour later. Um, <laughs> and I've got to do stuff at the house before I come out, obviously. So I've cost myself like an hour and a half on the bank now. So, Amy, if you're watching, I've done a you. I've slept in too much. So anyone that watches Amy fishing on Instagram or, or YouTube, <clears throat> yeah, she did the same the other day and uh, cost herself loads of time on the bank. Kicking myself, but hey oh, uh, three and a half degrees, spot on, overcast. Let's get fishing. But before we do, <laughs> it does help if I say what lures I'm using. So, obviously, after last time's uh, performance, that will be making a, an appearance on my rod. So, that's the Roach Flash Tail, massive Roach Flash Tail. That's just got one hook in there. Um, audio rigged, put that behind there, is um, that's a natural. That's a reaper, so that's got in the back, it's got a second hook. You can't really see that there, but it's got a second hook. Um, so I'll try that one first, just to try something a bit different and definitely be having the, uh, the Lucky John lure out again. So see if that can produce for me. So yeah, now, now let's get a fish. Right, looking. Too loose. Looking at the, uh, the water now with Polaroids on. There's a river that runs into here. Uh, that river's still running a bit coloured, so might revert back to the uh, <clears throat> silver flash jig fly pretty soon. But it just screams uh, predator ambush here. <clears throat> this is the, uh, the peg I wanted to fish first time I came down last time, but oh, and there's one straight away. <laughs> You little shitbag. Right, okay. Right, well then. Let's try something a bit bigger. Wallop. Yes, jack on, jack on. <laughs> I think that's the same one that had a go at the uh, jig fly to be fair. It's not a big fish at all, it's only a few pound. But again, the smaller fish hitting the bigger lure. Come on dude. In the net. <laughs> right. Right, folks, uh, so uh, first, ja well, first couple of casts, Jack had a go at the uh, jig fly, natural coloured pattern. Um, 
but wasn't solid takes. Um, swapped over to the much bigger uh, Lucky John lure and after a few casts it's now that lure as well so I'll just show you the fish, nothing massive but it's a welcome jack, it means I'm not a blanker. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna get soaking with these. <laughs> always, I always end up flipping kneeling on a slant. Right, come on. Settle yourself, little dude. I have no uh, slip backs into the river this time. To be fair, the fish does feel very cold. But then it's minus, at uh, minus, if it's three and a half degrees, obviously water's falling down, but lovely little, little fish. Um, but you know people say oh jacks they don't take much well that jack take well I suppose in proportion I've had fish take much smaller fish take bigger lures so but yeah um, very welcome healthy fish so uh, let's get it back Expect to see a pike there somewhere. Big sweeps. Don't worry about too much about the speed of the retrieval because you get stuff like that. <laughs> That was only a little jack, but makes you jump a mile. See if he lit it again. Yep, is it is, and he's lost it. You bonehead. <laughs> right. Let's give him a minute to uh, gather his thoughts. how much pull there is out there compared to in here. Right, we'll eat it again. Yes, and he's on this time. <laughs> he gathered his thoughts all right. Where are you? Come on, Jim lad. Oh, no, he wants to run. Good old bend in the rod. Is he coming up? No, yes. He might even be side hooked in the head. <clears throat> oh, he's in the bank. <laughs> oh, he's back in the right main flow now. Oh, so we're going to bring up the side of this grass line. Come on, our kid. Right on the beach here, so. Not a bad fish actually. In the net. <laughs> so, another one to the jig fly. A uh, little bit bigger than I thought he was. Still a jack though, but some lovely colours on this one. Um, I had him in the net whilst I set up, so he's now got his energy back. But uh, after a few swipes, <laughs> He finally uh, worked out how to get it in his gob hole, but uh, yeah, and hopefully, should be a straightforward, yeah, straightforward on hooking, no messing around. Quite a long fish for his uh, for a little tinker, but uh, obviously that means for good growing. So potentially, this is a definitely a fish of the future. But uh, got a bit of damage on this side. <laughs> Looks like spawning marks, to be honest. But uh, other than that, all good, all healthy. Although, a bit of mono. <laughs> but yeah, let's get him back, see if we can find another. I wonder actually, he's just I'm gonna chuck it into the fast water and then pull it back around into that slack down here. Give it a chance to sink down then. Here's the crease low. Bloody hell, the bank just gave way under my feet. Crikey. There we go, big fish just swirled on that then. Oh, 
you twat. There we go. Oh, you. So he obviously they are sat right in the bank line as well. <laughs> Definitely gone further out into that deeper water than that one did, I think. But where he's going to have sat up, I don't know. Fish on. <laughs> That's the little one that had to go just now. Right, I'm going to get down to him. Oh, this is going to be fun. I can see the skid marks already. Oh. It. Oh, slide into the uh, swim. Little tiny jack. Back up a bit, mate. Finger over and in my net. Right. So, uh, the pike that had a go at the bigger Lucky John lure uh, never connected, and that's my fault. <laughs> Cost myself a reasonable fish. However, Gone over the jig fly, and this little so and so uh, sort of shot at the uh, the inside bank line, missed it, come back thankfully, and, uh, and did hit it. Um, it's a really angry little jack, I tell you. Um, I could see him in the net just now. These gills and mouth flared out, so he's not a happy chappy. But uh, let's see, uh, see how he's hooked and sort him out, and show you the fish. are absolutely soaked. <laughs> right, what you got going on here, sunshine? So, there is a the little dude with a face full of fluff. Fluff's bigger than his head. On this side, there is a bit of damage from previously. You run your finger over, it's quite a dent to be fair, but he's obviously survived well from it, but uh, Right, how are we gonna, where's this gun in then? Oh, this is definitely a plier's job. It's gone in over his top jaw, so. Something with a decent grip. There we go. Get rid of that. Right. Let's not keep him. Let's get him back. I mean, keep him any longer. Not keep him. Take home. Put this pond like. <laughs> Just can't, can't get my words out today. I tell you. Right. Little pan in the backside. Right, that's it of today's session. Um, I've had a few hours on the bank and I've caught a few fish and I've lost a few fish, and that's where it goes. Um, unfortunately, the bigger fish of the day would have probably scraped a double uh, on the Lucky John lure. Um, I just pulled away too soon, um, so that's what she said. Uh, and <laughs> yeah, so I can't complain. I've caught, I've got, I'm not going over Blanca, and the weather's stayed all right. Arrived at three and a half degrees. It feels like it's about three, three and a half again now. So, and it's starting to drop off dark. So, uh, yeah, time to call it neck, get back home, and uh, I'll catch you on the back later. Ta da! -da.